What's up guys, it's Ryan again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina and we just finished up with another search and recovery. However, this time it wasn't me doing the search and recovery, it was Instructor Shark Bait out here. And you guys know Dylan. Dylan's one of our newest employees. We brought him on this summer. And so I wanted to bring Dylan out for this. This was a relatively easy search and recovery for him. However, I wanna show you how we do some of the techniques. Um, and if you're, if you're a diver and you're an experienced diver, I would encourage you to mentor younger divers. Let them get a little bit of taste of the action. So anytime you get a call like this, take somebody that's a little bit younger than you, is a little bit lesser experienced than you, and let them practice these search techniques. This was a relatively easy search. It was in about 16 to 17 foot of water. Basically, I set up a downline for Dylan, and I plan on making a video in the future of how we actually do that. He went down the downline. Of course, he found the sunglasses for him. I think it took him about maybe three or four minutes to do it but he was very successful. And so, but what it does, it lets a little bit lesser experienced divers get the practice under their belt. And like I said, this is an easy search and recovery for him. So he was very successful, but he needs that practice just like younger divers do. So if you're a search and recovery diver and you get a call for say a sunglasses or whatever, just like we did here, take a lesser experienced diver with you and let them practice. It can still be safe for them. Now, of course you want to of course have search and recovery training, but take them out, let them practice, and mentor them up to where they need to be. But guys, I hope you enjoy this video. I'll give you some final thoughts here at the end. All right, so when you descend, keep your feet above you, go head first. As your light starts reflecting from the bottom, start popping your buoyancy. And then no more than a five foot search radius without resetting. Got it? You probably won't need that if you stay on the line. Sunglasses like a, a year you guys opened up that shop. <laughs> it's whatever this is minus three. Minus three. Yeah, because I started it three seconds too early. You guys didn't even put any money on it. Five dollars. I, I put five dollars on the over. I bet you the sunglasses he finds them. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about that. There you go. Eden, what are we at? Thirty-five. You training this kid? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Yep. Ah. Oh, yeah. Over? 46. Well, minus three. I think he's going to get a good 10, 15 seconds of gotten down there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He can't see anything pretty good. On his way up, he has to come up. He has to come up a lot slower than what he goes down. Because yeah. of Boyle's Law, so. Even in How the long can he spend down there? On the tank he's using at that depth, probably two hours. Oh. <laughs> oh. He won't be down there. <laughs> We're not paying him that. Yeah, it, it's probably no deeper than about 15 foot right there. Yeah. Yeah. And he, he's like me, he's blessed with really, really small lungs. So, I'm gonna say he's got a two hour bottom time. He's circling now. Anytime an object falls, so let's say I'm working in 20 foot of depth, your search radius is actually 20 foot from where you drop that object. So, so he falls so, like this, right? Yep. And any object, I don't care if it's an airplane, a car, a human body, it does not matter. Your search radius will always be equal to the depth of the water. So he's in 17 foot of water roughly. He's got a 17 foot circle anywhere around that. That that pair of sunglasses. It does, but where you're at back here in this cove, it doesn't really matter. And don't worry, if you don't find them, I will. <laughs> I, I like a pair of... Uh, prescription sunglasses but way out and we didn't even bother calling you because it's like 60 feet right you guys yeah. don't do that right oh yeah oh you do yeah i found murder weapons and 80 foot of water in front of the dam out here oh really yeah. is it for the, the police mm -hmm. The gunman accidentally threw it in the wrong spot, so he called him. They come out. Oh, I feel bad. You know, he wants to find him so bad. 
Yeah. We'll get you glasses. How's my timer, Eric? Well, he's got, he's got to find him. On the, he's got to find him on this run. Too. He's in the hole. He's got to find him on this run for me to owe you. Double or nothing. Another minute starting now. Same run. Same dive. I don't know about that one. From where they actually come off and where you threw the the weight, how how accurate do you think you were? Not very. I think, well, was, I mean, I think it was near a bit closer. Out of the I mean, area. there's there's a vi there's a video of me going off. It's and somewhere in this. It's like like my head was right here when I went under the water, and my head was upside down. So, how much can you see down there? Depends on if it's rocky or if it's silty. We joke that a good day, you can see better if you close your eyes and put a bag over your head. <laughs> I've seen 25, 30 foot at the bottom near the dam. Uh, that's horizontal distance. Yeah. Uh, I've seen it to where you literally could see more if you closed your eyes. Yeah. So it just depends. They were diving for like two hours. Who was? Me and uh, Luke out there. there. Oh, for this stuff? Yeah. Oh. Couldn't really get much of it. I was the one who called. I was sick of it. <laughs> Couldn't really get much of a search radius on it, but there are three guys. Oh, I see light. Whoop. Did he get him? Oh. 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 Hero of the oh. day. <laughs> How long was that? Maybe 353. Uh, I've got 455 on the camera, but he had jumped in. Close to the too. area where. Oh, two. Oh, 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 yeah. yeah. Two <laughs> oh. Good job, Dylan. Hello. Those have been down there for a while. Ew, that's nice. Sixteen feet, so I was off by one foot. Was it right in this was it right there where you I was I was stressed out about ten feet. Where was Good job, brother. Which direction was it? There I found them. We were we were I thought we were here, right? I mean that's where I thought I was diving over there, but you know. <laughs> All right. See, that's what I said. Well, that buoy was at. That's probably where you jump. Is it? And then they yeah. pop this way. Floating. Yeah, it's it's like a really deep slope like that. So. It's... Everybody say hey to YouTube. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. So as you can see, guys, he was very successful. It didn't take him very long. Like I said, he was in depths. What was it, Dylan? How deep? about 14 to 15 feet, something like that. He wasn't there, but about three minutes. Uh, very successful dive. But like I said, in the future, I'm gonna be making a video of how we set up down lines to do searches like this. So if you got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below. If you like this video, share this video and definitely hit that like button for me. Guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.